Hello and welcome. So today what we are going to do is something that's called um, a lace case binding and it's going to look like this and it's called lace case because you make the case separate of the binding and then you lace it in here like a shoelace or a bodice lace and you can make a soft cover version or you can make a hardcover version. This is made from a cereal box and from envelopes from the bank, I think. And you can see here again, you have the, the, lace, the lace through here. And if you read the text about Scholar's Bindings, you'll know that um, Scholar's Bindings were improvised structures. And this is actually an established bookbinding structure. If you go look at some libraries, uh, you'll find this kind of books. But because it's much easier to teach, this is what we're going to do today. So we're going to start with the paper and preparing and folding the paper. And regardless of what kind of paper you start from, if you have old printouts or if you have a paper bag, or something like that, a paper bag. You are going to want to be make it into a flat piece of paper. So if you start from a printout, that's fantastic. If you start from an envelope or a bag like that, you're going to have to open and flatten them. And now of my receipt. Okay, so uh, for that, it's helpful to have like a little, um, like a little paper knife or a little um, paper knife, little paper knife or some other tool. And I'm just going to briefly also go through our tool list. So we're going to need a pencil. We're going to need scissors. A paperweight. I'm using half a marker or this rock. I'm going to use a needle, also thread. Some kind of cutting implement. I'm using a scalpel. You can use a rotary cutter or a mat cutter or a snap blade knife, anything like that. I'm going to need a ruler. I've got one of these and I also got like a square ruler like that and bone folder just something that you can use to work the paper with and also you are going to need a cutting mat something that'll just protect whatever surface you're working on and you're also going to need a press board or a paperweight so something heavy which you can place onto the book just to give it a bit of a press. Okay. So if you start from a flat paper, that's great, you don't have to do anything right now. If you start from envelopes or paper bags, you're gonna have to open and flatten them. You have to open all the edges and make them into flat pieces of paper, into flat sheets of paper. That's what we're gonna do now. So like this with an envelope. Like that. So it's a flat piece of paper. If you have a paper bag like this, you will move the handles.
here at the bottom and open at the top and you can separate it into two flat sheets of paper. so that you have like straight edges to work from. So when you have a flat piece of paper like this, we're going to go into how to fold it. Okay. So how you're going to fold your paper is going to depend on what kind of size of paper you start with and also what kind of uh, size notebook you want to end up with. So if you start from an A4 sheet like this and you want a fairly small sized notebook, you're going to fold in the middle, once in the middle, like this. And when you fold, if you want to make sure it's straight, the best way to go is try to sort of line up the edges with each other. And that's going to give you kind of a 90 degree fold. So once you fold it in the middle, you're going to place your paper down and you're going to tear along the fold that you made. And you're going to tear just slightly past halfway along your paper. So what you're going to end up is going to look like this. And then you refold it. And you fold it again. So like that. And you might look at that and think, yeah, I'm happy with this size. This is enough. I don't need to fold this piece of paper anymore. But if you want to, you could tear this edge again past halfway and fold it again in half and you'd end up with an even smaller piece. Or if you wanted a larger book, for instance, you could just like stay here and stay at this type of fold. So if you're folding something large, like this one, it's the same principle that you fold now. So I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in half. Like this. Tear it, you place it face down on your work surface. You use your non dominant hand to hold the paper, you use your dominant hand to tear, and you tear it like that. And you tear it slightly past the midpoint. bone folder comes handy because you can actually use it to sort of make the fold sharper and flatter. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And then again, you open, you tear past the midpoint. And you fold again. And 
And sometimes when you see book sizes mentioned, people talk about a folio or an octavo or a quarto. This is sort of what they meant. It means how, how many times do you fold the paper to get the size of the book, basically. And what we are doing is a pretty small book, so it's close to an octavo, octavo fold. So, and you meant to end up with something like this. And you do that for all of the paper that you're going to make into books. And if you are doing this over the course of several days, I would recommend that you put them under a paperweight like this. And you put them in press for a couple of days to a couple of hours because paper has a very strong memory. And the more you kind of press it, the more it remembers that it's going to go flat. So yeah, that's our first section or gathering. And you just do the same to all of your other papers. So if you have something like this, which is an envelope. If there are any bits that you feel are like awkward or not suiting your format, you can take that off. Like if you flick through it, you'd see that they're not they're not completely separated and they're not meant to be, because when you're working with them like this, uh, the fact that they're not so completely separated here is what's going to hold your section together. So you fold to the middle, you tear. That's the midpoint. Again, and here's helpful if you got like a little paper sliding through or something like that.
point you can look at your sections and you can see okay they're not all the same size and you can either decide that doesn't matter you don't care they don't have to be the same size or you can pick the size that you want so i'm going to pick this size and i'm going to cut these ones down so that they're going to be roughly about the same size and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to get one of the sizes of sections that i want and get some of the larger sections like that And you get your sections, you place one on top of the other like a template. You get your paperweight, your ruler, and your cutting tool. Okay, I'm going to try to show this on camera. And using the size of the section that you want, like a template, you just cut down the other one to size. And the best way of doing that is just cut very gently, not like try to make a hard cut, but just try to go through it gently and cut one paper at a time because that gives a much better result than if you try to cut the whole thing at once. Okay, so there will be... Roughly the same size. 